Hey guys, to end my OnePlus One and Oppo Find 7 coverage, today I wanted to make a comparison between the Oppo Find 7 and the OnePlus One and give you all the detailed information I think you need to make a good decision buying one of those two. So let's damn it. Let's start with the design and the build quality and in this case I have to admit in terms of build quality the cheaper device even has the upper hand because since it's more of a one piece design on the OnePlus One it feels more I would say solid because nothing creaks at all we have one piece you can remove it but still it feels like one piece it is very solid and it just looks slightly better but in terms of the overall design we have a few differences here where the OnePlus One has the power button on the right side which for me still on a daily basis is more convenient to use we have it on the other side on the Oppo Find 7 since we have double tap to wake and sub double tap to sleep it is no real issue and more of a personal preference but here I give the upper hand to the OnePlus One but in terms of the overall design due to the Oppo Find 7 being a little bit more narrow and also thicker but therefore somehow substantial it just feels way better in the hand it is also more compact and feels smaller I would say almost closer to the Nexus 5 than to the OnePlus One granted the OnePlus One is a bit lighter and it is thinner but the overall feel in the hand and the weight distribution to a more bottom heavy device for me makes the winner the Oppo Find 7 let's talk about the display now and I have to say everyone says they have the same panel but looking both by side by side you wouldn't even really notice it because there are a few differences right now there are maybe a softer thing but maybe not because the differences here are the overall brightness the one plus one in my case is i would say about 10 percent brighter and slightly feels more vivid this is i think more of the calibration thing and the really good thing about the one plus one is we have color settings in the options menu which gives you a lot of options like saturation you can change the hue you can change some other things and this gives you the chance so you can customize the video quality and the picture to your liking otherwise the differences are at least in my case the one plus one is way colder calibrated the white is it's almost cold but very white this is one thing I prefer but therefore the Oppo Find 7 has the ever so slightly warmer and maybe more pleasant white for a longer period of time if you're watching it personally I prefer the OnePlus One but still but then the other issue for the OnePlus One is we have the yellow band which seems to be a common issue and also a lot of yellow calibrated devices okay the Oppo Find 7 also has some of these issues but at least in my case the Oppo Find 7 was fine where it wasn't on the OnePlus One so that's one thing if we have both flawless devices in terms of the display I would choose the winner to be the Oppo uh, the OnePlus One but since quality control and some support issues are there I have to give it a tie because both displays are still very good but the risk of getting a bad one on the OnePlus One is just way higher and therefore it's a tie talking about the sound now and for me one really important thing is the maximum volume and also in my case again the OnePlus One is a lot louder both from the headphones and from the speaker I would say 25 to maybe even 30 percent and the tonal balance is also completely different where the OnePlus One is very bright very vibrant very clean the Oppo Find 7 is more a bit toned down in the treble therefore had a bit, has a bit more bass and overall feels richer but I prefer personally the clearer more brilliant sound on the overall term and also having so much more reserves in terms of volume makes the winner again the OnePlus One not saying the Oppo Find 7 is bad if you like this rich sound it's slightly closer to the HTC One M8 but I give the win to this mostly because of the volume but also for the clearer sound in terms of performance this is really a head-to-head -head race and I can really choose a winner because they are both so close we have the same internals the only difference is, is we have three gigabytes of RAM on the OnePlus One but you really notice this only on heavier multitasking I sometimes noticed a little bit when I was jumping for a lot of apps the Oppo Find 7 had to reload but even though the, one, the Oppo Find 7a is maybe slightly burdened by an outdated and older Jelly Bean version of ColorOS in terms of performance you won't really notice any difference maybe five ten percent but in normal daily use I would say both are pretty much the same both are very fast both are very smooth 
overall great experience and I have to call it a tie here again. Another very important thing worth mentioning is the battery life. Where the Oppo Find 7a charges in about 60 to 70 minutes, the OnePlus One needs 2 hours for this test. This maybe sounds like a big difference, but in the end, if you are charging overnight or so, it does really make a difference. But therefore, you have the longer lasting battery life. Where I got through a day of maybe 15 hours and 4 hours of screen on time barely with 35% of brightness on the Oppo Find 7a, I got through days with 20 hours or more in total with 5 hours on screen on time with only 30% of brightness which was made in more okay because the display was just brighter. So it's for you to decide. If 4 hours with the heaviest work are okay for you and you therefore prefer the quicker charging the Oppo Find 7 could be the right one for you. But personally, pr I prefer the longer lasting battery life because I just don't want to charge. I could charge whenever I needed to, but I don't want to. And therefore, I prefer the longer lasting battery life on the OnePlus One, which is, I would say, about 25% better than on the Oppo Find 7a. And that's why my winner is the OnePlus One. Maybe one of the biggest differences here out of the box on these two devices is the software. We are running ColorOS with Jelly Bean 4.3 on the Oppo Find 7 and 4.4.2 KitKat with CyanogenMod 11s on the OnePlus One. And this is a real big difference because Sound Mod 11 is pretty much on the newest version, has a lot of useful and nice features that really enhance the overall experience. ColorOS isn't bad, but it is outdated and slightly limited in terms of options. I'm missing a lot of options because the device has the potential in terms of hardware using all those features, but they are just not in the software here. And the one with the Sound Mod is way closer to stock, so if you like Nexus-like devices or stock, the OnePlus One is definitely your thing, but don't forget one thing. If you root and if you use custom ROMs, you can equalize this all. Because the Oppo Find 7a has ROMs like Dirty Unicorns with tons of tons and features who really use the full potential of this device. And in the case of the OnePlus, you can use Mardi or any other high feature ROM. I would recommend Mardi. And then you are neck to neck again in terms of the performance and in terms of the software because then both are on the newest version, both have all the possible features to really, like I said, use the full potential of this device and then it's a tie. But out of the box, definitely the clear winner is the OnePlus One. So we've gone through all the categories and we chose a winner wherever there was one. So who's the winner in the end now? And this time I have to agree, it's not that easy because if I listen to my brain, the winner would be the OnePlus One because of the better display, the better sound, the better battery and the better software. But if I listen to my guts, I would choose the Oppo Find 7 because it has the better feel in the hand and it's slightly more compact and a bit more premium in overall. But it's not that easy because you also have to remember one thing. On the OnePlus One, chances are pretty high you get a flawed device. But if you never, if you get a flawless device and never have to reach their support, this could be the unicorn that makes you super happy. But like I said, the chances are pretty high. You will get a flawed device and will get in trouble with their support. And that's why the Oppo Find 7a maybe is the safer bet. Because you have a better support and you have better be um, quality control. So you have to choose one or the other. The safe side or the maybe better but therefore riskier side. What do I choose? Since I already told you I've sold the Oppo Find 7 to one of my friends, which was already a done deal before the review, I'm still stuck with two OnePluses. And if they get replaced and if I get a flawless one, I think I will be pretty happy with it until whenever I think I have to upgrade or do anything else. If not, we will see and I will keep you updated if anything happens. But otherwise, the OnePlus One in overall seems to be the better device with a few things to keep in mind. So this was my rather compact comparison for the Oppo Find 7 and the OnePlus One. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you disagree, give me a thumbs down. Or if I forgot anything to mention, please leave it in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Bye.